Neil here with Ready Gunner. Today we're going to be going over disassembling, cleaning, and assembling the AR-15 platform. Uh, just getting off the range, obviously uh, you saw me fire some rounds. First thing you want to do is clear your weapon. If your bolt's not already uh, caught to the rear, you want to release your magazine. Hit the magazine release catch. Drop the mag. Lock the bolt to the rear. Pull the charging handle back. You'll see the bolt catch on the other side. Push that in. Let the charging handle go. You'll have an open bolt. Visually inspect the chamber. Make sure there's not a round inside of there. Once you see that it's clear, if you got a buddy with you, get, go ahead and get a buddy check. Um, make sure you're double safe. Once you know it's clear, go ahead and release the bolt. Hit the bolt release. Right there. Close the dust cover. You're set to go. And that's how you clear a weapon. Obviously, always pointing the firearm downrange. All right, so we just got done shooting this uh, rifle. Uh, you usually want to keep these clean. You want to clean it after every time you use it. So we'll go uh, go ahead and show you how to do that. So we got a few cleaning supplies here. We got a a bore snake. This is a 5.56 bore snake. They make them for all different type of uh, rifle calibers. We got a little uh, applicator brush here, camel hair brush, just for wiping dust off uh, guns. And then uh, a notice uh, cleaning kit here. with uh, various different uh, tools for cleaning your firearm. You got your brushes, little picks, toothbrush, some CLP, and also another uh, way of cleaning your bore is with this, uh, these uh, patches. So first thing you got to do is disassemble the AR-15. So obviously you've already cleared it on the range. So there's, there's a first way of doing this is pushing down the rear takedown pin just go ahead and push it from this side and then just pop it on the other side. Just catch a fingernail under there, pull it out. You can shotgun it. If you want, you can disassemble this in two, two different components. You can pop this one out. You can leave it like this or pop this one out. Separate them like so. Next thing you want to do is take the bolt and the charging handles out. Grab the charging handle. Give it a little tug. Don't pull it too hard because the bolt comes out with it. Like so. Then just pull the bolt out and pull the charging handle out. Now you're going to want to break down this bolt a little bit further. You got the retaining pin here. Just go ahead and grab that with the fingernail. Pull it out. This is a small item. You want to put it in a, a little cup or somewhere where you won't lose it. Pull the firing pin out. Just give it a little tap. Set that down. You got the, uh, the bolt catch here. Flip this 90 degrees and then just tap it into your hand, come right out, and then the bolt will be free to come out. So now you got the bolt carrier, you got the bolt, the bolt catch, the firing pin, retaining pin, and the charging handle. These are all items you, you're going to want to clean. So, first thing I do is usually I start by cleaning the bolt here, and there's a few little tough spots in here, right here where the bolt goes. There's a face down in there, and that usually gets some pretty good carbon buildup. And you can usually get that with a, a, a dental pick. Dental picks are pretty popular amongst people who are cleaning AR-15s. Or if you have a kit like this, they got uh, little tools, like this one right here, little scraper. Just assemble that. We sat down in the bowl right here, just kind of scrape the uh, scrape that carbon off those edges down there. When you do that, you can just tap it on something. You can see the carbon that comes out. And then once you do that, just go ahead, take a Q-tip, clean the inner walls out, clean the face off. Uh, same thing on this side. Uh, this one doesn't get it as bad, but you want to clean that out with some Q-tips and maybe a little dental pick. And then just give the whole thing a, uh, a rub down just with a cloth, a soft cloth. And that'll take care of the, the bolt carrier. Next thing you want to do is do the bolt. Right here on the bolt face, you can see the carbon buildup. And 
Same thing, you can use the same tool. Kind of scrape that off. Or even better, I just get one of these carpet brushes. And just give it a huge uh, brush like so. Obviously you can see it coming off. Let's go ahead and clean that all the way around. Make it nice and shiny. And if you're so inclined, you can pop this pin out, break it down even further. Um, you want to do this every once in a while. You don't have to do it every time. This is a small pin, so just make sure you don't lose that. Pop that off and then just get inside of there with the, uh, the Q-tip. Set that back in. Pop this pin back in. And like I said, you don't have to do that every time. And then just get up here where the, uh, the bullet catch is, get in there with a Q-tip, maybe a dental pick, and then once again, just wipe this whole thing down with a, with a cloth. The firing pin usually cleans off pretty easy. You have a cloth, you just uh, rub all this carbon off. You can see the black stuff on there. Usually comes off pretty easily. You might have to scrape this face. Once again, you can get that with a dental or a copper brush. Just make sure you get that nice and good. I'll just wipe this down once again with a small cloth. Get all the carbon up off on there. This just this doesn't usually get a whole lot of buildup on it. You can just wipe it down. The charging handle, same thing. Wipe down the inside. And depending on how much you shoot or how many rounds you put through this fire, it will depend on how much you need to clean it, obviously. Now, when you store this firearm, you can use CLP to clean it if you like, but when you store it, it's best that you store it dry, and then before you go out and shoot it again, go ahead and, and apply a little bit of CLP on the bolt. I'll show you how to do that after we put it back together. But this is, a, you can use that to clean it, kind of help get that carbon off, helps break it down a little bit. So let's say you clean these items. Now let's go into the, uh, the trigger housing here. This usually doesn't require a whole lot of cleaning. You don't have to clean it every time. Usually what I do is I'll just put it on fire, let the hammer fall, just get in there with a Q-tip, just a quick wipe down, nothing too serious. And then just to, to close this, you can just push it down, put it back on safe. Now the toughest part to clean is the star chamber here. You're going to want to clean, first of all, all inside of here, all inside the upper receiver. You can see the, Q, the, uh, the gas tube in there. That's got some carbon buildup on it. You're going to want to get that with the Q-tip. Just make sure you get in there real good. Also, the star chamber, usually a dental pick works best because you can kind of get, you know, the curves of the dental pick to kind of get in those grooves and then just kind of follow it up with a, a Q-tip to, to get the remaining carbon out of there. And once you got all that done, usually the last thing I do is I run the, uh, the boar snake. I don't do the boar snake first because while you're cleaning this, stuff could fall into, inside, of the, uh, inside of the barrel, so I do that last. Boar snake's pretty easy. I mean, it's uh, you can see here it's got built-in small copper brushes. So when you, want, when you run this through, the copper brushes kind of break it up, and then this the uh, the material here picks up anything that the, the brushes break up as you're putting it through. Just so go ahead and just put it down. Get the weighted side. Drop it into the barrel. Once it comes out the other end, just go ahead and pull it all the way through. And once again, make sure you have the right caliber size boar snake for the, the round you're using. So this is a 223 boar snake right here. And you'll probably want to run that through about four or five times. And you can feel free just to look through there and you can kind of look through it, make sure it's clean. There's nothing in there. 
Okay. It's really not, not that tough to clean. Next thing you want to do is pull out the buffer tube and buffer spring. Just go ahead and push down this uh, pin. Hold it down, pull the spring out. Make sure you, uh, you can separate the spring from the buffer itself. Just uh, This doesn't require a whole lot of cleaning. Just wipe it down with a rag, put it back together, and insert it back inside the, uh, the buffer tube. And that's about it. So once you get all this stuff clean, you want to make sure you dry it off, take all the excess CLP off of it, put it back together. The first thing I usually put back together is a bolt just because I want to get rid of the small components. So you want to put the bolt inside the bolt carrier. Line up these two holes. Drop in the bolt catcher. Flip it 90 degrees. Drop the firing pin in. Make sure that's it's in there all the way. And then put in the, uh, the retaining pin. Put that in, just push it in all the way, make sure it's in there. Now give, this, give the bolt a little tug, make sure it's in there good. Make sure the, the firing pin doesn't come out. So we're good to go. Now to, end, to put this inside the, uh, the upper receiver, you're gonna have to pull this bolt out. So just go ahead and pull that out as much as it'll go. Now grab the upper receiver, put the charging handle inside of it. There's some grooves in there. You can see the uh, the little grooves coming out here on the on the charging handle. Those have to fall into the grooves here on the uh, the upper receiver. So just put it in. You can feel it fall right there, and then just slide it in just a little bit. With the bolt extended on the bolt carrier, drop the gas tube into the groove on the charging handle. Set it in, line these up, and then just push them in simultaneously. Make sure those are in like that. Once you got that in, go ahead and just put the front on. You can either just do it like this, or you can just drop the whole thing on, make sure it's lined up. Pop the takedown pin in front, pop the takedown pin in the back, and your AR-15 is assembled. Now what you want to do is a functions check just to make sure you put this thing together right, you didn't get the components mixed up. It's tough to do, but you always want to make sure that uh, your weapons are going to function when you use it. So what you do with your weapon on fire, go ahead and try and pull the trigger. There should be uh, obviously no, not be able to pull the trigger back. Next thing you want to do is put the selector switch on fire. Pull the trigger back and hold it, and while holding it, you want to charge it. Let it go. Now release the trigger. You should hear a small metallic click, like so. And pull the trigger again. It should fire. The hammer should fall, and you know your firearm works. Now just charge it again. Obviously, you know your, your firearm won't go on safe unless the charging handle is charged. So charge it, put it on safe. Close the dust port cover, you're set to store this thing. Now next time you pull this thing out of the safe or your firearms closet or wherever you store it, when you go to use it again, pop the dust port cover, just charge the charging handle just a little bit, let that dust cover come down, get some CLP here, apply some to your bolt. That's not open. Apply some CLP to your bolt, rub it in there, and you can even put a little bit inside here, obviously. Make sure the charging handle is back. Um, just be cognizant of when you got your finger in there. You don't want to release the, the, uh, the bolt forward. It's going to give you a pretty good pinch there. So just make sure you get some CLP on your bolt before you go shooting it again. And that's our breakdown, cleaning, and assembling of the AR-15. Let us know what you think. If you've got any questions, please feel free to comment on our page. We'd love to help you out. Catch you next time.